Hey guys, this is TJ with Urkel Tuts. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use a PL SQL developer from all around automations in Holland to perform a text import. What we're going to do is very simple. We're going to create a table name customer. We are going to import a CSV text file into the table. And then we are going to select from the customer table just to see that we really have the data. Hey, this is TJ from Oracle Tuts. I work with Oracle since 1997. In all those years, I have used a tool from all around automations in Holland called PLSQL Developer. I am not affiliated with this company in any way, but I have to say that this has always been my favorite tool. Even when I have a Mac at um, work, I still have a VMware session with Windows for different things, and one of the things is running PLSQL Developer. I cannot be without it. Okay, back to the example for this video. We have a table, we're going to have a table called Customer, so I'm going to create this table first. Okay, it's created. And then I'm going to just verify that the table exists and there is no data at all. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my CSV file. That is what it looks like. We have a customer ID. We have the customer first name, customer last name. We have the gender and the date of birth. And the, so the top line is in the file is actually the header information. Then we have, you see the customer ID here, you see the first name, last name, and then the, the sex. And the sex is either female or male. But what I'm going to do when I import the data is to say that if it is female, it's going to be an uppercase F. And if it's a male, I'm going to say that it is an uppercase M. And you see the date at the end here has the format uh, mm dd y y y y okay let's get to it the first thing we need to do is to go to the tools menu this menu is very long there are a lot of things you can do so you actually cannot see it on the screen but uh, down towards the bottom it says uh, text importer when we click on this, we get this screen, and it has a data from text file tab, and it has data to Oracle tab. The first thing we need to do is to define the file and the source file. And we can click on this button here, and I choose my CSV file that I just showed you. And you can see the same uh, data here with the first line being the header information and it ex uh, understand that there are five fields in this and this is how it's represented in this tab now the next thing we need to do is to go to the data to oracle and then we need to say that uh, dev that's the owner of this table and we need to specify the table it's going to be uh, sent to, and that is customers. Okay, now we see here, uh, it understood based on the file names actually, that uh, field one is supposed to be customer ID, field two, cust first name, is going to be cust first name and so on. And last name, cust last name. Now we see gender, uh, it's going to be gender but as I mentioned we are going to make a little change there I'm going to say that <clears throat> I'm going to use a decode actually and I'm going to say that the value which is represented by a grid sign the sign here uh, we are going to say that if the value is uh, male then we are going to put an uppercase M otherwise we are going to put an uppercase F. Okay, for the date of birth field, 
uh, it actually suggests um, based on the format it recognizes the format it itself automatically and it says that it's mmddyyy and then they put a single quote around the value like it's supposed to and this is all good you can actually write any kind of uh, formulas in this field okay we are actually ready to go I'll just show you quickly that you can actually if you have a very long file you can actually and um, defined how often you want uh, the commits to be performed based on what I have experienced throughout the years um, 100 through 500 is often a good uh, range of values or records before you do a commit so it suggests, suggests 100 which is fine the next thing we need to do now is just to click on import and it says down here 319 records imported and that should match if I scroll down in my CSV file you see there are 320 lines here it says 320 but the first one was the header so there are 319 records which is correct now I'm going to go back to my original screen in PL SQL developer again and then I'm going to run this uh, query and we see that we have customers and if I fetch all the way to the last page it says here that I have 319 rows which is totally correct okay so I have not used this tool very much but it's awesome for me uh, I have done a lot of uh, text imports throughout the years. I used the uh, SQL Loader and, and I have also just used uh, an Excel spreadsheet. If I have thousands of records, I just create um, fields uh, having the value insert into and just make up a mock up um, insert into a record. Um, SQL file that I just do an import or run execute and it has worked fine but this tool is so much better I just wanted to share that with you um, I hope you have enjoyed it um, just give me a feedback and see what you think if you have other cool ways you can <coughs> use this tool I would like to know about it okay this is TJ signing up yeah.